Well, it's a program that I developed with a friend of mine in San Francisco. Uh, and it's called the Verbicizer. It'll take the sentence and I'll, I'll divide it up between the columns. And then when I've got, say, three or four or five, sometimes I go as much as 20, 25 different sentences going across here. And then I'll set it to randomize. And it'll take those 20 sentences and cut in between them all, all the time, picking out, choosing different words from different columns um, and from different rows of sentences. So what you end up with is a, a real kaleidoscope of, of meanings and topics and nouns and verbs all sort of slamming into each other. Um, let's just try that loop again. Reese is setting up a, a loop, as you can hear, on the guitar. This will be a, an, a kind of an accumulative pattern. Reese can then play against that and use it as a basis for improvisation. Save. The choices that I now make uh, from this uh, form uh, I can then re-imbue it with an emotive quality if I want to, or take it as it writes itself. So, I mean, some of the things I'll empathise with terrifically, and I'll find that even maybe four words in here would... The top kills himself. Well, it sounds like a boss, doesn't it? And suddenly I get a vision of a boss in the 30s throwing himself out of a window, you know, in the Great Depression. That might be enough to send me off on a, writing a song about that, you know. Fry medals becomes Fry the medals. Release Rid Bookman becomes Release the Bookman. Top the kills himself becomes the top kills himself. So, such and such. Like. Top the order, dead men medal, release the admiral. Then I sort of just went from there into release the bookman, release the admiral, fry the medals, hoist the mainsail. Only because it sort of felt like that kind of patterning. Uh, which would take me to a kind of a chorus area. Dead men don't talk, but they do. Dead men don't talk, but they do. Dead men don't talk. Dead men don't talk. Dead men don't talk, but they do. Tell the truth. It's almost like a, a technological dream in its own way. It creates the images from a dream state without having to go through the boredom and going to sleep all night. Or get stoned out of your head. Um, and, and it will give me access to areas that I wouldn't be thinking about otherwise during the day because it'll prompt feelings and ideas that <clears throat> in the natural course of events I probably would have uh, um, skirted around or just not been involved in. The way that I work, I will either be extraordinarily accepted or otherwise I reach a point where I've got seven people listening to what I do. I mean, there's never in between, at least. And it's been like that all my life, you know. I'm, it's, uh, people have either really accepted what I do or they absolutely sort of push it away from them. And I guess I've gotten used to that and that's kind of, I guess that's what I am, you know. Sometimes I'm useful currency and other times I'm not.